San Diego High. 100, 200, 200. Ramos, Calabar, Casey. That's King's Lane one for the medley. The slowest qualifies at 338.21. Oberlin, that's Calabar. And Calabar, not too many class one sprinters. Not too many 200 men in the finals, but somehow, because of the strong field event power, have clung on to a chance to win the Morton Maggetti's trophy. That's Oberlin in lane number two. The girls did well a while ago. And uh, St. George is there in the field lane number five. Here comes the field. The boys medley coming up. And, uh, that's William Nib in lane number six. Coming up, men's teams ranking real quickly after the boys class one 200 meter dash top five. Monroe 70 and a half points. Fourth, Jamaica College 119. Third, Kingston College 139. In second place, Calabar 149. And leading at this time after the boys class one 200 meter dash, Woolmers on 161. Real quickly. On the women's side, top five, Manchester High, 120.83, Vere Fort, 127, third, St. Jago, 138, second, Edward Allen, 201, and Homewood, 208.3. Boys medley on track now, and uh, Woolmers boys have uh, Duval Ashley on the anchor leg. He is their top 800 meter man, medaled in class two last year. He has a uh, huge responsibility. For the school from Hero Circle. Casey Oberlin Stets Calabar St. George's William Nib Wilmers Boys and St. Jago. Remember that Wilmers have no class one four by one team need to cover those points in the events that lead up to it. It's St. Diego scoring off on the outside with a boisterous first 200 meters and they continue to make progress. Here comes Wilmers as well in number seven. Uh, Calabar a bit back and Casey well back as uh, St. Diego continue to press on in the first 400 meters. The race 400 class one sprinter. The next two legs by class two boys. Here comes Wilmers on the last part of the 400 leg. Calabar keeping a steady pace as well. It's Calabar and Wilmers going best of all in the medley. Calabar and Wilmers make the change just about together. These next two legs are 200 meters and Calabar are speeding so far, Michael Freiter. It's Calabar that's in the lead right now. Closing it on the guy from William. Wilmers still out there, still running very well on the outside. A close race up to the, the, the second 200. Wilmers and Calabar chasing the championships. Casey also trying to stay close. It's Wilmers on the outside. Calabar speed through on the 200 leg. It's Calabar with Wilmers trying to keep up. This is Calabar. Wilmers on the outside. Fast running by Calabar. Here comes Wilmers and St. George's. It's Calabar, Wilmers and St. George's. Uh, Calabar make the exchange first. It's uh, Calabar. A better chance changed by Wilmers and uh, Devan Ashley has a stick, takes the lead. Bring down Buckley here, here you bet. Wilmers Calabar, who wants it more? Both athletes, <laughs> it, it's going down to the wire. But they're, they're both being passed by the, the athlete from Hoberlin right now. But the Wilmers guy, all he needs to be concerned about now is staying in front of the athlete from, from Calabar. The mission for Deval Ashley is beat Calabar. The mission for Calabar is beat Wilmers. Ashley 
swallowed up by the pack. St. George's has the lead. Not only to beat Calabar, given the standings that we have just announced, but to not only to beat Wilmers and Calabar Spark, given the standings we just announced, but to probably beat Wilmers by at least two spaces, two clear spaces, to try and eat into that lead, given what we just announced in the point standing. St. George's have the lead, Ashley adroitly steps past on the inside, so Wilmers come back to the lead. Wilmers on the outside, steps on the outside, the cold record holders in the medley. Ashley has the lead, it's Wilmers, Steads. St. George's with Oberlin and uh, Casey a bit back. Calabar hanging on to the lead back. Wilmers have the lead. Wilmers with Stead second. St. Diego in third. The last lap of the last leg of the boys' medley. Wilmers have the lead with Ashley. They've got to come forward now on the outside coming through. It's Wilmers with William Nib. St. Diego. St. George's in fourth place. Calabar. A big back trying to come on now. Calabar in fifth place. Wilmers on the outside. KC won the event three times in a row. On the outside comes St. Jago. St. Jago, Wilmers, William Nib and uh, St. George's. Calabar fade back down the path. St. Jago, Wilmers and William Nib. It's St. Jago. Here comes St. George's. St. Jago lead. Calabar fade back and down the point. It's St. Jago, William Nib and Wilmers. Wilmers side with third. KC fifth. And Calabar well back. A big run by St. Diego with Wilmers hanging on for third. Key point here. Wilmers beating Calabar by several positions. Calabar has lost points here. Interestingly, the KC guy did come back from, from a far way behind. Overtaking the Calabar athlete as well. KC still trying to make a push at the team championships. After the boys sprint medley, advantage Wilmers. So the top contenders, third, fifth and uh, Further back for Calabar in the medley. There's St. Diego. Nice ankle leg in the heat. And uh, William Nib winners in 2002 of the medley. Comfort for second. St. George's finish in fourth place with KC fifth. And uh, you're right, there's a the time. The point standing. Bulmers 170.5. Calabar not that far behind. 159.5. That's just what 11 points, Jermaine Deans, with KC still there and 146. That's just the difference of winning one relay with Wilmers not being in the race. So it's still going down to the wire here, but advantage Wilmers after the sprint medley. Uh, Homewood 220.33 points with Edwin Allen 206 with San Diego 142. So uh, Homewood caught up to Edwin Allen and uh, looks like they're beginning to move away. Homewood has, is definitely in the driver's seat right now. Um, Homewood, You're watching live coverage of the Issa Grace Boys and Girls Track and Field Championships. Brought to you by Grace Kennedy, Western Union, Courts, Gatorade, COK, and Lime. Berger, color world. Do you know that color plays on your emotions? 